In this video, I'll be giving my first impressions of Abiotic Factor, a new survival crafting game that just released into early access. I played the demo for the game several months ago and immediately put it on my wish list as I enjoyed every minute of it. I guess I wasn't alone as the early reviews for it on Steam are at 99% positive. With that said, let's jump into the game and take a quick look at what it has to offer. In Abiotic Factor, you're a new scientist on their first day of work at a lab in the Australian Outback. After completing a quick one-time tutorial that runs you through the basics of the game, your journey begins. So after completing the tutorial and jumping into the game, the first thing you're going to have to do is choose your job at the gate facility, which is the lab you're going to be working at. You're going to notice here there are several different jobs you can choose from. I'm not going to go through each one of them. I'm just going to kind of give you an overview. Each one of these jobs is going to give you, basically, you could consider them classes. So the first one up here, lab assistant, you'll notice over here, it's saying it's the stealth role. So you're going to get plus three sprinting, plus three sneaking, and plus two strength. You also have 10 attribute points, which you can use, which we'll talk about in just a second. And then each one, so each one of these is going to have different skills. So if you're playing solo, you're probably going to want to be uh, careful on which one you pick, because I think some of them are probably better fit for solo versus playing co-op. If you're playing co-op, it's probably a good idea to just have each person pick a different one of these jobs. That way you can kind of have like a, a good group synergy there. And then the only one that doesn't give you any starting uh, bonuses here is going to be the summer intern. So basically you get no extra skill points, but you'll have extra starting points. So for this one, I'm just going to pick the, let's go with the uh, trans kinematic researcher. This guy's going to be defensive combat. So he's going to get melee bonuses, four to two bonus, sprinting bonus and strength bonus. And he starts with eight attribute or eight skill points. So the skill points, if you ever played a game like Project Zomboid, each time you play it, you can have like a different character. So this would I obviously give the game uh, more replayability, in my opinion. So the way it works is you have positive and negative traits. So I have eight current points. If I only want to choose positive traits, I can use the eight points. If I want to have more points to choose from positive, I'm going to have to choose some of the negatives really quickly without going through all of them. The first one up here is going to be the decathlon one. That's going to give you plus three sprinting. Over here on the negative, this one's going to give you, uh, you refuse to engage with most melee combat related skills past level five. That means at some point you're going to hit a skill cap and you're just not going to be able to do more, uh, a lot of melee damage and a lot of uh, combat related damage. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to choose probably two positives just for this play here. So we'll go with the naturally moist, which is going to reduce my, uh, the, the how thirsty I get. And then we'll go with the night. Is this the night out? Yeah. Uh, no, not night owl. Wrinkly, get rid of that one. The wrinkly brain meat. You have a pliable neurological pathways. You gain 20% more XP than normal. So we'll just hit finish and jump into the game. Now, once you select this, it's permanent. You cannot ever change this. Also, each each character is going to be tied to a single server. So you want to make sure you pick it. You can start as many characters as you want on as many different servers as you want. So no worries in terms of limitation, as far as I know. But once you create the character, this decision is final. So you're going to be dropped into the lab. And the first task is going to be basically to uh, just start exploring around. So we got this guy we're going to talk to. I'm not going to listen to the dialogue because I've already listened to it plenty of times. The basic gist of the game is, as in most survival games, you're going to be gathering resources and crafting things. So you'll have some vending machines scattered around where you have to, uh, you can get food and drink from. You'll also be able to find food and make your own food. Uh, so real quick, the stats you're going to have to take care of, we'll just look at those. You're going to have to take care of your hunger, your thirst. You will have to use the bathroom periodically. And then you also will, uh, you will have to manage your, I guess, energy by making sure you sleep when you need to sleep. If everything's good to go, you'll have uh, you'll see that notice down here, you have the copacetic, so everything's good to go, and everything is good to go for me right now. There's also environmental factors like radiation and cold and stuff like that that you'll have to deal with. And basically what you're tasked to do with is we got to figure out how to get in the cafeteria over here so the door is locked. And no worries if you're worried about any spoilers. I'm only going to show the first like 10 or 15 minutes of gameplay here in this video. Just kind of want to give you the basic idea. So for gathering resources, there will be resources that are just uh, randomly around the map here. So you'll notice there's duct tape here. And you'll learn some of this stuff in the tutorial. Dismantling things, you can dismantle this scrap metal here. So we're going to grab this and head through here. I'm not going to explore everything here because I don't want to take up too much time. I just want to get through this as quickly as possible so you guys uh, can get a basic idea. So you're going to want to explore the entire early area, but I'm just going to kind of go through it and get to the cafeteria just so I can show you the combat. So the combat here is going to be, you have many choices for combat. You can be stealthy and sneak past, or you can just go head on and try to uh, attack things. So in this case, I think we're just going to, let's try sneaking past it. So we're going to stealth over here. And as long as we're quiet, this thing's not going to attack us. So this thing will actually shoot, like stick its tongue out and attack us. So if we sneak up on it, it's just not hearing us. So that one's pretty, pretty not very uh, intelligent. So we're able to easily sneak up on it. Over here, we're going to have, uh, this one's dead. So we're going to go through here. Other forms of combat, you'll learn this. It's gonna, it'll tell you uh, in the tutorial. Basically, the first way you're gonna want to take on combat is crafting some self defense. So right now, I can craft bandages and the throw nets, which they'll be unlocked in the tutorial. So we'll craft a throw net here. Now, while we're in this menu, I also want to point out one of the really cool features of the game: the way you unlock crafting recipes, rather than just like, oh, I picked up cloth, so now I can craft these things. 
Instead, when you pick up parts of uh, different recipes, it'll give you an idea. And what, what the way the idea works is you have to look at the different resources and put them down here. So it's going to be pretty obvious here, like the like the color coding. So this one, the gold one's going the gold here. We have two choices here for the white one. So we're going to put this over here. And then we will put the uh, pipes over here for this one and see if that works out for the crafting mansion. Of course it did. Now I've already done this before, so I know some of these. So you'll unlock a ton of crafting recipes, as you can see here. This is only showing the ones that I've currently been able to find. There are dozens and dozens and dozens of these. There's also going to be base defenses. You can craft furniture. You can craft different workbenches. There's going to be power and stuff, so you can run electricity, healing and medical. You can cook. Uh, there's farming in the game. There will be vehicles later on, and you can also craft uh, weapons and armor. So let's go take on the combat. I'll show you the combat. So in this case, instead of uh, sneaking up on it, we're just going to throw the net on this one, and then we're going to stomp him. So far, I like everything about the game, and the only one minor gripe I have is resource management. Inventory management is a little bit rough if you're playing solo. There are a lot of different resources, and you'll find a lot of them. So you will need to uh, be kind of mindful of that and start setting up your uh, crap, like storage stuff and, like, and taking advantage of uh, existing storage things like cabinets and other things. If you see anything glowing on the walls here, like in the beginning here, you're going to notice this thing. It can be dismantled, so we'll dismantle this one. I'm not going to dismantle all of them because I'm just trying to give you the, the basics here. I want to kind of get through the first area. If you fall too far, you will take you can take damage like injuring your legs and stuff like that. So you got to be careful of that. So over here, you're going to notice there's a computer. You will run across computers periodically. Definitely check out the computers because not only will they have messages in them, which will kind of give you like the lore of the game and also maybe some tips or kind of like letting you know what happened. Occasionally, they'll also have these uh, JPEGs down here. Clicking on a JPEG will open up and actually unlock your crafting recipe. So in this case, I've now unlocked the crafting recipe for a shiv. So you probably can, I, you'll probably be able to unlock that, unlock that later on anyway by just picking up the different resources that are needed to craft it. But if you come across a computer and click, see the little picture there, make sure you click on it because it will unlock things. So we're over here in the cafeteria. There should be a little creepy crawly guy around here somewhere. There he is. And I missed him. Got him that time. And we're going to stomp him. Easy there. So without going into like too much further in this, let me just show you the other things in the game. Uh, there's going to be, oh, there's another guy. I don't know if I can, can I stomp him up there? Oh, I stomped him. Okay, great. Uh, you'll find, like I said, you'll find resources around the map. So in this case, I just found a chef's hat. Uh, this is not really giving me much protection, but we'll put it on anyway because it is something. You can craft armor, find weapons and stuff like that. Uh, over here is going to be the little office area. So let's go into the office area. I just want to kind of point this out. We're going to shut the door because there was a little bad guy over there. Going in here. On the table here, you'll notice that there's a desk leg. This is actually a weapon. This weapon can be used for fighting. You can also use it to break things. Breaking things, uh, as you, like I said, you can pick up things. You can dismantle things. But you can also break things. So breaking these little computers here will give different parts. So now we got a circuit board and we got a power supply unit. The cabinets over here, good place to store things early on because you have limited backpack space. You can get find backpacks and craft backpacks pretty early on. So that'll mitigate it a little bit, but take advantage of these cabinets here and then make your own storage. Uh, let's turn off the TV real quick. And then the other thing I want to mention that I haven't shown so far is going to be the skills. So in the beginning, when I picked my trans kinematic researcher, it gave me some bonuses here, like the strength and the melee damage. So you'll notice I have different, there's fitness, combat, and crafting. Lots of different skills here. These are unlocked uh, naturally by just doing things. So by just sprinting around, I'll get more XP for that and eventually get up to the point where I have like max sprinting. Obviously, if you use melee weapons, you'll uh, increase your melee damage here. So we got sharp melee weapons. We have uh, accuracy and reloading speed and stuff like that. There's also going to be crafting, building, and stuff like that. So lots of different skills to unlock. And then the crafting recipes, which I uh, briefly talked about. Although actually, we have the journal here. This is going to be the tablet you get right in the tutorial. The tablet will give you uh, pertinent information, like things that you need to be doing or things you've learned here. And then over here for the crafting, like I said, we can craft different things. You'll unlock different crafting recipes. Uh, you can set up base defenses. That's one of the reasons I wanted to play the game. I have not experienced those just yet, but... Overall, I mean, I will say the game, it does have a story associated with, like, you're going to be progressing through the different areas. Like, the first goal is right here is to uh, figure, is to um, just knock that guy out. So you'll notice here, he's much harder to kill when I didn't throw the net on him. First uh, goal here is to just basically figure out how to open this door for this guy by crafting the energy brick here. But we're not going to do that just now, because that's uh, kind of the start of the game. Right now, I think there's, like, three areas in the game. The game has a roadmap that will last for, uh, I believe it's, like, the first year I think they're planning on being in access for about a year. So I think they have like three or four major updates planned. And then uh, the game should be at early access if all goes well, which is definitely cool to see a, a game with a full plan right up front and uh, just kind of like so you know what to expect. Hopefully they'll uh, stick to that plan and the game will be 
out uh, sooner rather or be finished sooner rather than later. I'm definitely uh, interested to jump through the game. I plan on playing through the uh, current, probably all the current X content right now. If you're interested in seeing actual like full gameplay, I will be streaming it tonight. If you're watching this today, this video went live. I'll be playing it tonight on both Twitch and my second YouTube channel. Links for those are uh, both links for both those are down in the description below. If you found the video interesting, make sure to hit the like button. Let me know if you'll be playing it in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.